Hey guys, let's go over the brand new bounty hunt monster Charm Constrictor. This is an attacker and its traits are actually Pierce and Bleed Hater. It doesn't show them on here because it is just a leaked monster, but it was leaked that its traits are Pierce and Bleed Hater. Not sure what the third one is yet, but both of those traits work really well with it. So yeah, I'm very happy that it has Pierce and Bleed Hater. Those are great traits. We don't know about the stats, but they'll probably be decent at least. And then if we go on down to the pros and the cons, it has a great trait, great damage output, and access to three tortures and bleed, burn, and ignite. And since it does have a lot of bleed moves, it does also have AoE bleed moves, the bleed hater will let it do so much more damage. So yeah, that is great. And of course, the pierce will help it do more damage too, and it'll help him break through megatons, evasions, and stuff like that. So yeah, overall looking great so far. Let's go on down to the moves though to see if those are any good. I do know it has a few pretty decent moves. So yeah, it has that AoE magic weakness and bleed. So the magic weakness will also help it do so much damage as well along with the bleed hater. Since this move also does bleed, that'll just do like so much damage, like a lot of damage. And it has an insane magic damage move, which will go ahead and just do even more along with that bleed hater and that magic weakness if you get that set up beforehand. That is kind of just insane. This monster will be able to do so much damage. And then it also has an AoE moderate fire damage with ignite, which is pretty good. It has a massive fire damage with ignite, which is also pretty darn good. Massive is insane. And then moderate magic damage. Actually, massive is better than insane. And then AoE heavy magic damage, which is great as well. That AoE magic damage along with that magic weakness can do so much damage to just every monster alive. So that is great. And then AoE at low fire damage. And then his ultimate is AoE PR with heavy special damage and make a possession, which is also pretty good. So overall, really incredible moves as well. This is just going to be a very, very, very strong monster. It seems so good. We don't have any of the recommended stuff down here. But as far as the relics go or runes, as far as the runes go, I would go with either two damage and one team speed or one damage to team speed or you could swap out the team speed for normal speed but i would go with team speed so that he can help speed up your whole team especially if you're using a support that you want to go before this monster to buff him up because you can of course use a damage booster support and then you can go and use damage boost on this monster then you can use a boa on the loose for the magic weakness and a bleed and then you can also use that aoe heavy magic damage next turn and just do like so much damage you can basically one shot anything so this monster will be able to do like a ton of damage. It is a bounty hunt monster, so I do think it costs money. But this is one of the few monsters I believe is actually kind of worth the money. I mean, it is just so strong. It does kind of depend on when you get those traits. Like when you get the bleed hater and when you get the peers. I doubt those ones will be the rank zero because they're just so good. They'll probably put some trash one in rank zero. But yeah, once you get both of those traits or yeah, traits then you'll be able to just do so much more damage. Try to get him up to rank 3 if it does take rank 3 to get those two traits. And yeah, he'd be pretty amazing. And as far as relics go, I would go with a sword, probably maybe some stamina rune. I don't know, but probably a sword at least. So yeah, go ahead and do that if he does have swords. If he doesn't have swords, then just do whatever you got. But yeah, swords would be definitely the best for him if he's able to get those. But yeah, if not, go ahead and actually get... Just whatever the best relics you have are, that would be the best. So yeah, just whatever the best relics you are. If you got best gold, go and do gold. If you got obsidian, diamond, whatever, just do the best you got. Because this monster will be able to do so much damage. And yeah, go ahead and get it and rank it up if you can. If you can, I might just maybe just buy it at rank 1 and then go and rank it up with the new rank up resource. That could be pretty good. Definitely go and do that if you can. And yeah, go and just get it to rank 3 so that you can get those traits so that you can use this move right here. You need this move. And then go ahead and just use this AoE heavy magic damage move and do so much damage. I just can't wait to see what people do with this monster. Because it seems like it will be able to do so, so much damage. I've said that so much. But yeah, great monster. Go ahead and get it. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this monster charm constrictor though. She seems pretty darn good. So let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.